What's up? It's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be breaking down my whole entire face routine. For the past couple of videos, I have kind of been avo avoiding doing that those steps on camera just because one, there's a lot of steps, two, it gets a little repetitive, and three, I don't know why else. <laughs> Everything just sounds so much better in threes. I don't know. But yeah, today I am going to be breaking it down. I'm going to be showing you guys my long lasting face. This face will last you through everything. Sweat, water, everything. Whenever I sit down to do my makeup, I look forward to sitting down and doing my face just because I love the outcome so much. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. If you wanna see how to get this long lasting, sweat proof, picture ready face, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Alrighty, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump straight into it. I'm starting with my eyeshadow done and my brows done because today's video is going to be mostly focused on the skin. I wanna show you guys how I get my super long lasting base. By the way, this is my chair. I am not farting on camera. I also went ahead and uh, moisturized my skin and now I am going to prime. So my favorite primer is the Borean Pink, Pink, Perfecting, Pink Perfect Cream. And I am going to just apply this all over my entire skin. I really like this primer because it smooths everything, but it also gives me like a hydrating finish. And I really like that. And I like to blend my primer in until I can barely feel it and until it becomes really nice and sticky. I'm gonna go ahead and now move on to foundation. The foundation that I have been loving, obsessed with for the past couple of months now is the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay Foundation. Mine is used, abused, as you can tell. I definitely need a new one, but I have been preferring this foundation over any of my higher end foundations. Just the finish of it is absolutely gorgeous. My AC just turned on. Of course it would. I first like to apply with a brush. This is the Morphe E54 brush. Any foundation brush will do the trick. And I am just going to apply this all over the skin. And this color matches me perfect. This is the shade 220. Since I always do my brows first, I like to go in with a concealer brush and a little bit of the foundation and kind of work this up by the brow because I don't like to get too close with a bigger brush in case we undo the brow situation that we have. So now that that's done, I like to go in with a beauty sponge and just really melt and blend that foundation further into the skin. And this is also going to shear it out a little bit and remove any excess foundation that you may have applied. Okay, now I like to go in with a concealer that's very similar to my skin tone. And I have been loving the Kylie concealers for a while now. It's what I have been using in most of my videos and I do generally enjoy the concealers. I like the concealers because they cover everything but they're also really hydrating. I cannot go into my under eyes with something like shape tape anymore because my under eyes are a little bit more on the drier side so I definitely like to use a concealer that's just a little bit more hydrating but still really nice and full coverage so the color that I have been using is birch and this one is even a little bit darker than my skin tone but that's okay because we go in and we highlight later so I'm going to take the birch shade and I'm going to apply it right here in the under eyes and I always apply a little bit in the outer corner because you see I have a little bit of darkness and redness there. And this way I can conceal that. But be careful with your eyeliner if you have eyeliner. Now I'm gonna go back in with my beauty sponge and blend this out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cream contour. You can go in with any cream contour that you want. The drugstore makes great cream contours. Another trick that I like to do is I like to take a concealer that's a couple shades darker than my skin tone and use that to contour. But lately I have been using the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in 6.5 Warmth Almond. 
and I have been contouring a little bit different because my face is definitely a little bit rounder and I used to just go like straight down and that just doesn't work for my face type because it is a little bit more round. So lately I have been doing the forehead. I don't really contour here just because my face is not round here. My face gets rounder down here and I do have a bigger forehead. So I contour my forehead. I like to take the top of my ear and kind of bring it down a little bit like that. So I kind of arch it down to give me more of like a sculpted face. I also apply it right here on the chin and cupid's bow and then of course the nose. Taking my favorite brush at the moment, this is the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 Airbrush. I love this brush to blend out my contour. I am just going to very lightly begin to buff in and blend this out and into the skin. So I do little light tapping motions and also round motions. And here I like to go into circular motions, just kind of blending that up. Seems like boom, boom, we lost five pounds. <laughs> I like to go back in with my beauty sponge and again blend, blend, blend. We want to be nice and effortless. And I like to blend my nose last. For my nose, I like to go in with a smaller brush. This is the Real Techniques Don't Shadow Brush. I love this brush to contour my nose. So I am just going to blend out the nose contour. It always looks a little crazy until we go in with concealer. So don't worry if it's not coming together right off the bat. Then I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and just kind of soften that up. Okay, so now that we have contoured, it's time to highlight. I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Concealer. My favorite concealer to highlight with is the shade Gypsum because it has a little bit of a pink undertone, so it's going to make my under eyes really nice and bright, and it's going to bring some lightness into my eye, to my under eyes. And because it has a pink undertone, if you have a little bit of darkness under your eyes, it's going to also act as like a little color corrector, so, it's a good little, uh, you know, combo. So I first start right here on the sides of the nose and then I bring it down. Now I only apply this color right here in the inner portion. I do not bring the color back here. I'm only bringing the attention to the center of my face. I'm gonna put a little bit on the chin and right here in the cupid's bow, I'm going to do the tip of the nose, the bridge of the nose, and a little bit in the center of the forehead. Now I'm going to go in with my sponge again and blend this all out. Alrighty, so we're ready to go ahead and set everything and start powdering our skin. The powders that I have been loving recently, again, it's another Kylie product and I promise you, I don't know, I just really like her products. Her skin products are awesome, like the concealers, love the powders. So I have two shades. I have shade beige and I have soft pink. I use soft pink for under my eyes and then I go in with beige for the rest of my face. So this is what's different from my routine recently. It's that I like to set my makeup first and then bake. I'm taking my hour, this is my hourglass duo sided brush and I'm going to dip the brush into the pink powder and top off the excess. You don't want a lot of powder, you only want a little bit and I also top it off on the back of my hand. And I'm going to look up and I'm going to lightly set the under eyes, only the under eyes for now. Boom, look how much better that looks. Okay, again, taking a little bit of the powder, look up and set. When you set your under eyes first and then you bake, it looks so different and it looks so so much more flawless and airbrushed and I don't know, I just love the way that it looks. 
You have to use a little bit of powder because if not, you're gonna end up looking a little bit too cakey because we do bake afterwards. Now I'm gonna take a powder puff and I'm gonna go into the shade beige. My powder puff is kind of dirty, don't judge it. And I am going to take that, I'm gonna dip it into my powder. Again, I'm gonna wipe it off on the back of my hand. And now I am going to set the rest of my face, but I am not setting under my eyes. I'm just going to set the rest of the face and just kind of like pounce it up and down. Really push that powder into the skin. All right, so now that everything is really nice and set, now we're gonna go ahead and bake. So I'm taking a really small little beauty blender and I'm gonna go into my pink powder once again. And I am going to apply this first on the sides of the nose tip and bridge and now I like to bring it down to the side the nostrils and in the inner corner so I'm only going to bake the inner corner of my eye and down in like a little triangle like this because again, I only want the brightness to be in the center of my face and not the whole under eye like I used to do. So you can see it's in the center, not everywhere. Now I'm going to go in with a beauty sponge that has like a flat side. I'm going to go into the beige powder and now I'm going to bake the bottom half of my face. So at this point of my makeup routine, I kind of let this sit for a little bit. So what, well, <laughs> so what I do at this time is I go ahead and I work in the lower lash line. So I'm going to quickly do that off camera and then I will be right back to finish everything else. Okay, so before I go ahead and wipe off the powder from under my eyes, I actually like to contour my nose a little bit. I'm gonna take my Alamar Ojitos 2 brush and I am going to contour the sides of the nose before we go in and blend that powder away. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend that away. And I'm only blending away the powder in the under eyes, not the powder that's under here, only in the under eyes. Okay, so the next thing is we are going to bronze and I'm using my Benefit Hula bronzer. This is my go-to bronzer. I always use this particular bronzer. So I am just going to bronze up the skin. Now when it comes to bronzing, I have been doing my bronzer a little bit higher. I like to go from the temple down, kind of almost hitting that under eye because again, I want my face to look a little bit more elongated, not so round. So instead of applying my bronzer like this way, I like to go a little bit sideways. So kind of like if I was applying highlight, but with my bronzer. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to blush. I have been loving my Alamad Blush Trio, <laughs> Trio in Medium Tan. For today, I think I'm gonna use the shade Isla and Toast It. I'm gonna to mix the two together, and I always apply on the back of my hand to kind of dust it off because they are super pigmented. And I like to pack, pat my brush, my blush, in and again I like to bring it a little bit higher than normal so I start here pat 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 and I'm bringing it up to the temple area I always like to apply a lot of blush because we do end up losing the blush throughout the day um, and I always blend this powder up so don't be shy to overdo it on the blush because that fades and regardless we're going to blend it out. I like to go in with a big, um, what's this called, dual fiber brush. This is the Shina B Miami Airbrush Effect brush and I am going to begin to blend this powder up so that it can blur everything and kind of mix everything in together. I learned this technique from Sonia and Fisha, I don't know how to say her name, but she does like this blurring technique and this works. So you blur the powder, you bring the powder up and do circular motions and it just blurs everything. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and apply a generous amount of Fix Plus or any makeup setting spray that you own because we went in with so much powder. You want to make sure that you give yourself a good coat of any setting spray so that everything just kind of melts into the skin and it doesn't look too powdery. I'm going to apply this. I'm going to apply lashes, finish the inner corner, and then I will be back to finish off with highlighting. So I went ahead and I finished my eyes, applied lashes, finished off with the lips. Don't worry, I am going to have everything that I used linked down below. I have a makeup tutorial really similar to this, so I'll link that as well. So now we just have finishing touches. Touches? Touches. I'm going to go in with my KKW number no. 2 powder, and I am going to apply this under the eyes just to further highlight the area. Again, I'm staying in the triangle area. I'm not putting it all over. I just really want it like under my eyes. I don't really like to highlight recently. I feel like the more matte look just definitely looks a little bit better on me. It makes my skin look better. I look younger. But for the sake of it, I'm going to highlight because I know that a lot of you guys like to highlight. So I am taking the, uh, the Kylie Cosmetics. I did not realize how much Kylie I was using in this video, but I'm going to use the highlight in Santorini. If I do highlight, I only highlight right here. When I was highlighting back here, it just, I don't know, it just wasn't looking right on me. So I personally have just been highlighting the very tops of my cheeks rather than like back here. I don't know. I just like it better. I do however have to highlight my nose like I have to so I like to take a little bit on the tip of the nose and down the bridge. Now that is very intense so I like to go in with a bigger brush and blend that out. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more Fix Plus. Okay, so that is pretty much it. That is going to complete this long-lasting full face of makeup. Honestly, you guys, this is probably, this has become my go-to foundation routine, contour routine, powder routine. I love the way my skin looks. I love how it looks in pictures and videos. I don't know, it just looks really flawless and really beautiful in person. I look youthful, I look like myself. It's not too powdery, it's not too dewy, it's just perfect. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought, what you want to see from me, and all that good stuff. I love you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Mwah.